All right, young people of faith, you already know what it is. Today is, thank God, it's Tuesday. Y'all, today is Testimony Tuesday, and y'all already know how excited I am. Today we have Christopher Carr Jr., all the way from Alabama, Anniston, Alabama. He goes to Full Gospel Hope Temple, and y'all, I am just excited to share his testimony of how God make a way. He will lead you, direct you, and guide you every step of the way. So today's scripture is Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thy own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. So y'all, today be blessed. Y'all know how excited I get because it's Testimony Tuesday. So y'all tune in and get a word from the Lord. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing today? Uh, this is Brother Chris Carr Jr., I just want to take out this opportunity and thank each and every one of you for viewing this. Um, before I begin, I'm going to give honor to my overseer, Apostle Herman L. Murray Jr. and Lady Danielle. I uh, also want to give honor to my leaders at Anniston Full Gospel, my Bishop, Bishop Macy Carr, Pastor Christopher D. Carr Sr., and First Lady LaShawn Carr. I just truly thank God for each and every one of you and for all the precious leaders out there. I want to give honor to your leaders uh, Pastor Jewel Lee and Lady Lee, as well as Sister Dominique. God bless you. I'm thankful for this opportunity, and I don't count it lightly. Uh, here today, I just want to share a portion of my testimony. Uh, God has truly been good to me. He has done so many wonderful things in my life, and I just can't tell it all, all the things that God has done for me. Uh, I can remember in 2017, uh, I had given my heart to the Lord, and um I began right there. I uh, was unsure of what direction to take while I was in college. Uh, I was taking a number of classes and uh, my end goal was to go to medical school. Um, while I was in college, I started um, just taking a number of courses and uh, talking back and forth with the counselor, but I knew where my GPA was. I wasn't going to be competitive enough to take that next step and apply for med school. Uh, do well on the, the entrance exam, I wasn't prepared like I needed to be and to be a competitive applicant. So uh, I decided that I was going to uh, pursue either nursing. And uh, so I went and talked to my uh, counselor at the time and um, she began to talk to me a little bit about the nursing program, what it would take to get in. And she was like, hey, let me introduce you to uh, the respiratory therapy department and uh, I can introduce you to the director today. So I was like, all right, you know, I'll go talk to him and meet him and see what's going on. And uh, this is the spring. Uh, this is my, so I'll be approaching my first year at the college I was at uh, in 2016, uh, when I started there in 2016. And um, here I am uh, talking with the director and he was telling me, you know, hey, you know, tell me all about the field of respiratory therapy. Never heard of it in my life. And um, he was like, man, let me tell you, you ain't going to deal with no poop, no pee, no feet. And I told him, hey, man, sign me up. And um, so I got in, I started, uh, applied for the program, applied for nursing as well. And uh, I was waiting a little while to hear back, hear back from him so I could possibly potentially start in the fall. And uh, put in my application, I was waiting, didn't hear back until it was July, and I ended up getting rejected from both programs. And I was devastated. I was just like, well, I don't know what to do. I was unsure of my path. I was unsure what direction to take. And it's all gonna make sense at the end. And uh, I started to, uh, I went back and I prayed. I said, Lord, I really don't know what to do. Uh, if it's this is your direction for me to just pursue medical school, I will. But Lord, I just I really don't know what to do. Uh, and I prayed that prayer. I left it wrong. I remember I was uh, this was in July and I still have the rejection letters. And uh, I just looking back like it's just amazing what the Lord did for me. Um, I remember I was in the O.R., uh, with a physician and um, he just got done doing a case. I was walking out and I, I sat down and I got a phone call and this was, um, this had to be on, I want to say it was like July 31st or the beginning of August. I got a phone call and it was the director, the guy that I talked to for the respiratory program. He was like, hey, uh, Mr. Carr, how you doing? I said, you know, I'm doing well. What's going on? He said, man, I got an opening just for you. Do you want it? 
And this was for the respiratory therapy program. I said, man, let me give you a call back. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> I ended up calling, uh, I called my parents. I told them, hey, I just got a call. They they accepted me into the respiratory program. They were like, what? That's God. I was like, man, I had no idea what in the world just happened. And uh, I talked to the doctor who was a mentor of mine. And uh, he was like, man, you better take it, man. That's awesome. You start making money quick. Man, so I, I ended up joining the respiratory therapy program. I ended up graduating uh, top of 10 of my class. Uh, I was honored to uh, work as the president of my class. I ended up getting one of the top awards in the program. And I'm telling you, God blessed me. That scripture talks about uh, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. It says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. He will direct your paths. I trusted God. I gave him uh, my my heart and God, he lighted up the way, literally. Scripture said that just man's steps are ordered by the Lord. And I literally, God has ordered my steps here today. He's ordered everything that I've done. And I can't tell it enough how many things God has done for me. And I just want you to know that if you trust God, if you believe him, God will lead you every step of the way. But you have to get out the way and let God lead you. Let him direct you and better days lie ahead. God bless you. Y'all take care and I'll see you on the next time.